So I was talking to a boy one night, and, he and I tell him, I'm a poet, and he says to me, write a poem about my pants. And so I did. <laughs> pants are the thing you never seem to wear when we Skype. It's just you and those boxer brief things, and I, I don't quite understand men's underwear. Pants are the thing I take off when I get home from school, and as I change into my sweats, you say to me, I don't mind if you change on cam. Pants are what you and most teenagers nowadays deem unnecessary. Pants are the thing I hardly get to see on you. You living so far away, most times I only see you from your chest up. And every time I see your face on that 17.3 inch screen, I remember that I won't be seeing your pants anytime soon. Between the laughs and the sweet nothings, you tell me that you don't mind the scars under my pants that I don't have to hide anything because you love every part of me. Self-harm and all, you find me beautiful. And I honestly feel like I don't have to hide under a pair of jeans around you because I actually believe you, except there's no need to because you aren't here. Distance is a cruel thing, a test of strength. Well, listen, God, creator, science, fabricator of these jeans, I am not strong. It's not fair because there are people who get to see your pants every day. No one appreciates the simplicity of a pair of trousers, but if you were here, I'd pay attention to every detail. How high on your waist they fall, where the garment splits into two, all the creases, the baggy areas, how some parts are more faded than others. And if you were here, I would run my fingers over the denim of your jeans and count the stitches. I don't care to pay attention to anyone else's pants. I know what a pair of jeans looks like. What makes your pants special is that they're on you. And I just want to see you.